Welcome back, creatures of the internet, to some more Doki Doki. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I am scared of Yuri at this point. <laughs> I don't know what to go with. I've gotten conflicting, I've gotten people giving me conflicting answers on this one, so I'm a little, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I thought Yuri was cool, and then now she's scaring me. I think I'm going to side with Natsuki. I think I have to, in good conscience, because, uh, uh. Because, like, Natsuki hasn't, like, done anything wrong. Yuri's kind of been a little manipulative. If it is true that she knows certain things, I don't fucking know. I'm gonna go with Natsuki. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, God, I'm scared. Um, guys? Um, guys? Okay, fine. Yo, can I just keep selecting Natsuki? Oh god. Um, Monica, you're scaring me. Um, hey, Evel, why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Well, I'm scared. Is she gonna hurt me? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ah ha ha ha! No! I was gonna s You son of a bitch. I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never had an enemy to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh, I was gonna side! Motherfucker! I was gonna side with you! She runs away quickly. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Evel, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. That's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget about it all by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm the vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just, I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Eva. Oh, if you guys can hear that, that is my cat. That is, uh, that is a cat trying to escape the room. Give me a minute. You want out, baby? Do you want out? You want out? Oh my god. There you go, freedom. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. She must have snuck in here when, uh, when I was setting up the recording. Fun times, man. Ugh, on with the video. <laughs> I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Evel. You ex you discussed it enough, all right? <laughs> it is terrifying. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate you understand. What the fuck? Wait, what? What am I doing? I don't want to. I'm gonna choose opposite. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Friends. Amazing. Passion. Uh, sensation. I'm trying to pick mostly not Yuri words. Because I she was crying. I feel so bad for her. Lollipop. Smile. Play. What the fuck? Uh, marriage? Disown. Joy. Summer. Wonderful. Um. Holiday. We're gonna make a light, fluffy fucking poem. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, most of them were her. So we'll see how this works. Another day passes, 
and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Eval. Ah, uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to a corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Oh, I should probably save it, huh? Save it there. I'm pissed it deleted my saves! Please don't think we're usually like this. It's not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I already had decided there's no way you could be a bad person. And now you're apologizing, I know you didn't really didn't mean it. Ah, Evel, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Ah, uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! Uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man? Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calm Natsuki is addressing her. N no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, the cats are being so freaking loud. I don't know if the mic is picking that up, but one of the cats in my family's house literally runs around and yowls. And she picks random times to do it. So if any of this was picked up, I apologize. It's cats. I swear to God. I'm not torturing any animals in the background. None of that is going on. That is literally an elderly cat that runs up and down the stairs and just decides to yell whenever she fucking feels like it. And you know what? We let her because she's not hurting anyone. She's not doing anything. And she seems to enjoy it. I don't know what she's communicating, but that's her shit. Back with the video. <laughs> Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? I am so fucking confused! Is Monica- does Monica have the power to erase things? Is she like some sort of fucking demon too? I'm very confused. Like, I'm wavering back and forth between Natsuki and Yuri, and Yuri was giving me demon vibes the last time, and oh god, I'm so confused. But, I'll accept your apology anyway if it helped you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was af always afraid of you secretly hating me or something like that. Eh <laughs> No, not at all. I don't hate you. Ahaha. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Oh, damn! Well, you know what? My poem is gonna blow you away. You're gonna be like, holy shit, you're amazing. Hey. Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. She was just sacrificing a virgin to the, to the to fucking Satan to erase our memories or some shit. I'm legitimately freaked out. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyways? Uh, well, my last period of study hall. Yeah, it was going to be piano, right? That makes no sense, though. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, piano, piano, piano. Yep, yep, yep. You've been practicing. Yeah, okay. So none of this dialogue's changed. She's still going to piano. The only difference is I'm in front of the closet now. And, of course, Sayori isn't here. I gave best of luck, thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki's already ran off into the closet. Evel, 
Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I plan on doing it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Ah, uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I take make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make reading here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up, makes her way to the closet. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. We've done this before. Yeah, 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 no, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water picture to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. I'm starting to think Monica's fucking Satan. Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. We're gonna actually go around the school? Let's see. The most logical place for you to be the nearest water fountain. The music's kind of weird. I start heading down the hallway. Ha! 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 What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <sighs> a sharp inhale, like someone is sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Are you just corner to peer around at Yuri? Yeah. <sighs> oh, fuck! Oh my god! Yuri? Wait. What the fuck? Oh, I'm very confused. Is this a cult? Do you like oolong tea? Yeah. No, let's talk about what we just saw. I'm assuming our characters will fucking remember. Okay, I'm very confused. I guess I'm still gonna go after Yuri? Even though she scares me, but that's why everyone fucking scares me. Okay. Same thing as before. She starts humming to herself. She's happy. Fuck. Does this mean earlier when she excused herself, she was fucking cutting herself? Oh my god. I'm not gonna, like, shame anyone for, for, for like, doing any of that. If you're in that mental- I'm gonna stop right the second. If you're in that mental space where you're actually practicing self-harm, oh my god. Like, there are no words. I'm not gonna, like, damn you for it or anything. Like, I know there's a lot of people who are just like, that's just fucking wrong. No. You know what? You're in that mental space. If anything, I would urge you to call certain lines. I would urge you to talk to friends and family. I would urge you to get a therapist of some sorts. There are many alternatives to cutting that are really cheap and really easy. Everything from writing on yourself to a bunch of other things. There's a ton of things that you can look up. You are not alone. Okay? That's all I wanted to say. That's that's all I wanted to say. Because I don't want to come off as some ass that's like, Oh, she's cutting! No, I totally... If, you, if you're in that mindset, I get that that's a thing. And... I don't want to shun anyone. There's always going to be someone there to help you. When it's you who's around anyway. Ah, uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Evel. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. Blah, blah, blah. We have seen this. Yeah, we sit on the floor today. We know this. Yeah, we know about this. Being hunched over while reading. Reading posture, sitting on the floor. Please don't glitch out on me, because I have a feeling I'm just going to go for Yuri at this point. Well, I don't fucking know, though, because Jesus Christ, it's terrifying. I don't know who to trust, but I definitely don't trust Monica. Yep, yep, yep. She's kind of cute. We know she's cute. I'm not going to argue that any of them aren't cute. They're all fucking adorable. Actually, true story, I'm drinking tea right now. I like drinking tea during recording sessions because it's warm and feels good on my throat. Yeah, don't just stare at the boobs. Come on, just take, drink your tea and read your book. Oh yeah, this is where there was the uh, fucking chocolates. Yep. Know about this. Doesn't Monica like cock block us at some point? I don't remember, 100%. 
Enough shit has happened. That is still fucking adorable. Enough shit has happened that, like, I don't fucking... This game is scaring me. <sighs> yep, yep, yep. Chocolate. She's drunk away. Blup. Put it in her mouth. Put it in her mouth. Put it in her mouth. There we go. Okay. She is adorable. Just look at that face. Not in a creepy way. She's fucking adorable. Yep, yep, yeah. We know this. Yep, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. Evel. Suddenly, he forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Evel. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Evel. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Oh my god! Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It, it even makes me want to not to read. I just want to look at you. What the fuck am I looking at? Ah, she's scaring me again. I can't do anything. Ha! Uh, what the fuck? Oh my god! No! Can't keep her to form the eyes off of me, lady! Um, it's time to share poems. What the fuck? I am scared! We're gonna go to Natsuki because she's the least scary, guys! <laughs> well, I can admit that it's better than the last one. It says to you that you're putting in some effort. That's good. Just makes you find a little bit of influence from everyone. I think you're at least being influenced by Yuri a little bit, aren't you? I mean, I know you've been, like, spending some time with her or whatever. Yeah, there was only a couple of words that came in there, like, three, I think, that popped up Yuri. But that's because I wanted to have- uh, I didn't want to just be straight up her. I didn't know if that would affect anything. But, you know, Monica and I are just as good as she- I am pulling- At poems, I mean. So you should really try to learn something or you'll never get better. 90% of that was you liked. Your cheapy version of you fucking liked, lady. Here's the one I wrote. I'll make sure you can learn something from it. Oh, this is a new one. This music is so fucking weird. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried to not let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her t talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. If it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. These poems are fucking weird. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think it was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out, they'd make fun of or think less of you. Well, yeah, I think that's part of being human. Like, it ties back into that whole, like, you are always constantly judging someone. Even if you're not trying to judge someone, you kind of are. And you always have that voice inside your head saying, we should hide this. <laughs> Whether it be dependent on your family and dependent on your surroundings. Oh my god, I'm really into manga and anime. I need to hide this shit. You know, oh my god, I'm really into literally insert fucking anything. I should hide this. That just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. I, see, I can kind of get behind that. Like, as long as you aren't hurting yourself and as long as you aren't hurting others. Those are the biggest things I take into consideration when I learn about something new. Are you hurting yourself? Are you hurting others? Basically, are you damaging anything? Because if, unless you're damaging anything and it's all consensual and whatever the fuck it is, I don't think that there should be that many issues with it. I mean, if we're going to be honest here. You're not hurting anyone. You're not, you know? Such as two of the girls in this very club, whom I respectfully won't name. Wow! Kind of ironic that 
Even in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess, thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so... Whatever, we're done sharing, so you can leave now. Wow! I'm scared of both of these girls! I am so frightened, like... I'm, I'm dead serious. I don't think I'm gonna try to go after Yuri anymore. I think I'm gonna try to go after Natsuki. I'm... I don't fucking know. Like, is she gonna call me out? I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I just like holding it. What the fuck? Ah, uh, I mean... The poem turned out good! It's, uh... Well, there are some things that you could work on. But that doesn't really matter. Feels like anything written by user treasure. Holy fuck, she's a yandere. She's like a sat satanic yandere. Yeah, I'm getting the fuck away from her, because this is weird. Ah ha ha ha. That came out a little awkward. But let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Wheel. A rotating wheel turning uh, turning an axle grinding. Blah, 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 I'm reading this, but I'm not going to read it out loud because this is a lot of fucking words. <laughs> okay. It's kind of weird, but all right. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive, so I have to take it out on your pen. Ah, uh, that is a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. She is fucking terrifying. Holy shit. No, I I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. No, I don't want the poem. I'm scared. Monica, hold me. Evel, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. There are tons of other mental illnesses. You Just because someone's doing things that aren't considered normal, which this is definitely not fucking normal, there are a lot of other mental and health conditions that could cause you to do this shit. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. Yeah, she should be in therapy and possibly be on- Yeah, she should be in therapy, possibly on meds, to try to figure out a way to cope with this. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've been kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though, but I guess it's what I had to explain to all of you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend more time with me. Yeah, fuck you. I think I'm gonna be- Okay. Officially, peoples, I'm thinking I'm just gonna try to go after Natsuki, or I'm trying to try to be buddy buddies with Natsuki, because both of these girls scare me. Like, Monica fucking scares me. Put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out. I hope you do, too. Save me. The colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise won't stop. Violent grating. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. It's like playing, it's like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. What the fuck? Delete her? What? Yeah, she scares me. Ah, <sighs> no. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're just trying to fucking. I don't fucking know, man. But you are going about it the wrong way. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes friends are facing a difficult decision when it happens over to save your game. Yeah, you know, because you fucking delete it. I'm sorry, I'm pissed about that. Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. So do they know they're trapped in a game? I'm very confused now. And if that's the case, I kind of feel bad for all of them. Yuri still scares the fuck out of me, though. Can you hear me? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, 
My cursor? What? I'm still scared. I don't know if she's innocent or she's fucking, like, doing this shit. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to get over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do any festivals? Like, blah, 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 blah. We know about this kind of. I don't really do all the last minute preparations. Don't worry too much. We're gonna keep it simple. Okay, look. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Eval joined you. We started up some collectives. This isn't time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members, and if the festival is a real chance to find more, what's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Not Suki! I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them with the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where everyone can express themselves like they can't do it anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. That is not... That's creepy. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Evel? Ah! Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Evel to agree just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Evel joined. As for me, I liked it better here than I do at home. And Evel isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. That's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're present all, but you would consider our feelings. Monica is clearly taken aback. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Evel want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if that's your rescue the situation. Um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club? It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I ever think everyone here saw it the same way I did? That doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Evel, why did you join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact... If you remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if we're just starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in this club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with that club being that for me? There aren't, there aren't many places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything anyway. No, Evel. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take. If I wanted that, I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one? I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki... Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks around the classroom. Natsuki, don't leave! This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have any other opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, like, how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my response. Feels like that. No one would cry if she killed herself. Fuck you, Yuri! I loved you! Ah! Uh, I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision at service club. Yuri, you're scaring me! But what about you, Evel? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decided giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing for everyone is to get along. For the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what wanted to make the literature club a special place. I see... I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Your fucking eye is bleeding, I think. What the fuck? Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Why is her eye bleeding? Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri? Eh? 
Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. Look forward to it. Why did she stab her eye? I, I, oh my god. Shall we go, Evel? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Evel before we leave. Just see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll send the two of, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Evel, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm kind of responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing other girls... Seeing... I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. Ahaha. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? Hey! No! Natsuki's still real? What the fuck? I'm not even gonna argue for Yuri because of her weird fucking... I, again, I, no judgment, but, like, she seems to have something actually mentally wrong with her. Well, between the staring and the other fucking weird shit. But it's weird, because in all the time we've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things that I'm hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand, so that's why. Wait, not yet! They're so fucking self-aware! They have to be! Oh my god, I don't know what to fucking... <sighs> Marriage? I'm not picking that, because that's fucking weird. Like, part of me wants to? I don't know what it says. Huh. Uh... Sugar? Family? I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everyone, I guess. One, 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 one out of 20. That's not fucking normal. Chocolate every time. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Oh, uh, I'm confused. Yeah, she jumped. What the hell was that? She's dead. Okay, this time I got some of all three. Hi, Evel. Yuri fucking scares me. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look. I did something about yesterday. I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki, nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? Yuri! What the fuck? No, Yuri, that shit's not okay! Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Aha, ha, ha. Must have a lot of determination. Determination! Starting this club and still trying to make some time for your piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. <laughs> what if I used me to work hard for the festival too? Anyway, Evel, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans for today. Um, Yuri, we don't necessarily have plans for today. You just made someone cry. Uh, I feel like that puts everything on pause, bitch. Ah, uh, is that so, Yuri? Yeah, that's correct. Evel's already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad that we've got- I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I suppose. I was just- Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Oh my god! What was that- uh, thank you for understanding, Monica. No! No, don't leave me alone with her! No! Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Can I please run away? 
Thank you. There's nothing that makes reading time very better than a cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yeah, you've said that like four times. I'm not watching her do this shit. Yeah, okay. Is she gonna be cutting herself again? Okay. Yeah, we know all this. She'll be right back. Might as well you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Picture in hand. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, did you leave? Did Yuri leave you again? Nah, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water picture to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes passed. Jesus fucking Christ. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. It's something holding her up. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri is the nearest water fountain, starting down the hallway. Fuckity fuck. Is she cutting herself again? Oh god, is she cutting herself again? Mother- <sighs> So does my character lose fucking- I'm very confused right now. Oh my god! No! Um, wait. How did I- Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This happened before anything, right? My head's a little fuzzy lately. Yeah, it's probably because someone's fucking rewinding time itself! I wasn't showing you anything. I hate for you to think I'm weird. No, you, you, nah, you failed already. You are weird. Everyone has a few unusual things about them, but expressing those things after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered when I was a bit younger. I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense and make people not want to be around me, so I started hating those things about myself, my obsessions with certain hobbies, and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier to close myself off. Then, yeah, I, no, you don't get a sob story again after you just made her cry. Like, I want to go find Natsuki. I feel really fucking bad for her. Something isn't wrong, I don't know what it is, but every time we come to this club, my heart starts to go crazy. It's like I'm going to rip it out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Go see a therapist! Eval, is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart since I joined the club. Basically, you and Monica are fucking weird. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Oh, God. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. I'm scared. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Her eyes scare me. I'm terrified. I just wanted to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. I don't want to drink her tea from now on because I have a feeling she's going to eventually drug this shit. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Ah ha ha ha. That was a joke. Just a joke. Monica, stop watching. It's creepy. I do like knives. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them from all over various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club. You fell- Oh my god, Monica, stop! Now we don't need to be lonely anymore because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue. Holy crap anymore! Oh my god, she's scaring me, not to mention the other pathetic child. Hey! Okay, I didn't like Natsuki in the first place, but you are being such an asshole, Yuri. We can walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? No, it sounds like you need help. It's everything we could ever want. Is that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get to something for blah blah. I don't. I'm scared. Will you do that with me? Oh god, I'm scared. What the fuck? Natsuki, save me. This one's alright. Alright. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. I still can't really tell how much you are actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're really not spending time with anyone but Yuri. 
I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I'm not able to spend time with anyone but Yuri! I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been kind of worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you might not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist! Yes! I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm not- I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpful, helpless, so please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to just please try to do anything. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about it, about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Jesus fuck. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Evel? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up as for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Oh god, I'm saving it! I'm terrified. Oh my god. No. I don't- Okay, I really think I'm going with Natsuki for future. I'm gonna end the video right here. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. It would mean the world to me. Until next time, friends. We'll be at the literature club, I guess. Bye.